Okay. I'm here. Uh, let me scroll up. Shell, Bizzo, Fish Cat, Michael Graham, Painbringer, A Hunt, I Kurgan, Sean, Tainted Empiric, Tank Daddy, Don J, Two Bob with the Raid, Big Show, Galico, South Side, Stinger J, Owen Xander. Fat Your 2316 came back for more. Three months, three months with the hottest voice in the community. Oh god, Fat Jord, thank you for the three months. <laughs> Dear you, M Dog, Chandler, Dupont, Lee Dynasty, Dark Pesa. How are we doing today, everybody? I apologize for being a couple minutes late. I'm having um, some health issues today, um, but I'm surviving, so we are just going to medication it up. You sound super congested, do I? Am I, like, super nasally? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> I forced that one. Um, no, it's not my ribs. It's something else. Michelle, thank you for the hundred bits. Ugh. Long story short, I was laid up in bed until an hour ago. So, I barely slept. And to me, it sounds like he just got done crying. <laughs> kind of. I haven't, well, I wasn't crying, but like, ow. Sound more exhausted than congested. Yeah. Kalikos, thank you for the eight bits. Ivy, thank you for the two bits. A hype train is close. If that hype train has pain relief, then you're better now. Maybe it's just me. I mean, I don't know. I'm. I've got the things in place to hopefully get through 90 minutes ish of a stream. Uh, but enough about me. How is everybody doing today? How was your weekend? Um. What did we think of those? Did you beat those cha challenge matches with any of the uh, contest characters? If so, let me know. I managed with three five-star bronzes. And I got Mankind and Rhonda for my efforts. So it was worth taking... It was worth taking Rocky Maya via five bronze. It was worth having a five bronze phenom, and it was worth taking Akrish on from level one to five star bronze. And almost completely unlocking a strap for all of them. But I got all three, and that got me the 75 shard milestone for Rhonda. So it worked. It worked. It was gross the entire time. Lots of props. I think... My Via needed two cash kickouts. But that made up for the fact that Phenom and Sean didn't. Pulled it off with a four-star bronze zombie rock. Yeah, it's just infinite stun loop. It's like, remember when we used to do this for 15 minutes? A zombie Austin... Stun locking forever. Zombie Triple H not moving the pin bar. Cesaro not moving the pin bar. Remember those days? <laughs> That's kind of how it felt. Um, Phenom, I went super sub. I did it on stream. Um, my Via was... I'll show you the build I used for him because I think he's still set up and it was just fucking disgusting. Galikos, thank you again for the 8-bits. Um, so I did this. Remember how everyone clowns me about having all those rare straps? What up, though? So I went his two 1MP black moves with a 50,000 <laughs> flat metal. Um, 
I don't remember who was here. But flat black gem damage and then those multiply props. So that was nasty, but we did it. And then I took this guy up from level one. And the piece de resistance is the fact that I have a 20% gem defense belt, belt for him. Uh, cheap shop plate, all sorts of armor. So we got that done. I think turn two. But I had to burn a ton of resources I didn't want to drop immediately on him. And then Phenom was... I, I um, replaced Butch with Striker Austin. Clearly the strap and metal part resources are interesting. Yeah, I did things I didn't want to have to do, <laughs> but, but Phenom was my main powerhouse for a very long time, so I already had a legendary strap on him. I just added metals, but this is what we're left with, is just absolute fuckery that had to go down for that to happen but it happened i need to scroll up on chat because i asked a question and then i talked for 20 minutes and didn't answer anybody so let me do that real quick while i find a match got my mankind kai nice didn't try rock beat two of the three with four silver striker rock with riddle riddle yeah that the cheese method either riddle with the power gem props or vince with the loot box props Got my assets handed to me except for the normal and only with Riddle. Pulled it off with a rook. Saw that. No strap for Phenom Taker here. Took mine from four silver to five bronze this weekend. Thanks, Big Show. Uh, yeah, it was worth doing considering I was going to land two characters. So I was like, you know what? I'd rather pay in game resources than actual money if it means like to recruit people. So was able to justify it. I had a great weekend in the game when I'm getting Mankind and Rhonda, Sheik and Blue Blood. Nice. Didn't think I'd get the Rhonda shards, so spent on the 100, then I gave it one more go. <laughs> Didn't want to waste resources to get there. Maybe I showed him like 50 shards from Rhonda. Didn't have anything else I needed. I beat the challenges. It was a struggle having to- yeah. Having to use Memrock and DX Army Sean. You poor thing. <laughs> beat the tours with um, DX Army Sean and Hall of Fame Taker. Rock was not happening. Volkov? No, I don't. I think I had um, maybe Hockey Tonk Man. I don't remember. I had Icon Sting. Took 20 minutes of 5 gold. Oh my god. Or Icon Sean. It seems the outlaw has been summoned, you poor soul. What up, Oklahoma outlaw? Goldie, I whooped they ass and then shook my... <laughs> what up, Jammy? Say, how are you? Welcome on in. Punching practice on hell kicked my arse bad. Five silver, Vince Stryker was the only one to take. Sako below for... Damn. Did I see Cody's match? I did, actually. I don't usually watch, but... I wanted to see, um, I almost threw up looking at his bruise, not gonna lie, that was, that was a thing. What's good, Team Hellahard? I forgot we could use Icon Shot, oh my god. I had to do things I didn't want to do, should be the title of my memoirs, Big Facts. Brand the Man, what's up? Yeah, I thought it might have been a work and then you... You saw his shoulder, and there's like, there's no fucking way. Because if that was makeup, that was fading. I don't care how professional you are. That would have rubbed and all sorts of stuff. So, that was... And I'm not sure how I feel about him wrestling. In that condition. The crowd was dead for the first five minutes because they were so shocked at how Cody looked. Yeah. 
It got more colorful rather than fit. Yeah, that's how you knew it was actually real. Couldn't make it any worse. So the argument is... People applaud Kurt Angle for winning a gold medal with a broken neck and then criticized Cody for wrestling. I'm in the camp where both were stupid. He wasn't going to do any more damage than it had been done. I mean... Yeah, I guess, but... Like, Kurt Angle wrestling with a broken neck where it, like, could have paralyzed himself. I don't know why that's so... I guess in hindsight Fuck, it's celebrated because he didn't. But there's something to be said for... Because it would have ruined the show given that it was the only match. And it ruined it if it didn't happen. See, it's like... I think it was fine for one match. If Cody were to wrestle again before surgery, then he's stupid. Yeah, true. So I realize there's the part where... For Cody, it's like his mentality is I owe it to the fans because we've been building this, we've been hyping this, they paid money to see this. But at what point do we, as consumers of a product, say, okay, no, you might do some serious damage to yourself? And, like, wrestling itself is, is dangerous, right? It's just interesting to be like, at what point do we say, okay, you know what? Just, it's just an interesting point for conversation. That's all. Only death was going to stop it. Yeah, didn't he tear the peck off the bone? I don't know. There's something... I don't want to say inhumane. That's not the right word. I don't know the word I'm thinking of, but... Gluttons for punishment? Maybe? Like, this guy was clearly... Like, in pain, discomfort, swelling, and chose to do it anyways. And we, as fans... Like, ate it up. I don't know. I'm not trying to criticize either side. I'm just, you know, the. Hmm. If his muscle was partially torn, they would have taken him off the card, but because it was totally torn off, there was no more damage that could be done. That was Cody's call. Yeah, Vince wouldn't have forced him, I don't think. Don't forget, AEW let Matt Hardy keep wrestling after he fell off a ladder and smacked his head on the concrete. Yeah. Don't get started on head injuries. Those are... Those don't happen in wrestling, right? Absolutely no CDE link whatsoever. Uh, Mex, thank you for the follow. Cody tweeted, for the love of the game, clearly he felt he was able to handle it. And it's also, I feel like, if his opponent wasn't Seth... Maybe it wouldn't have happened. Like, they'd clearly been working together for a bit. They trust each other. They're comfortable with each other. They're both safe workers. So that probably had something to do with it as well, right? They're both professionals. Let's also think from Cody's side as well. He's down near legendary now off that performance. Yeah. It's a testament to, you know, obviously his strength and his... Um, ability, right? Being able to do that? Seasoned vet really like- yeah, I feel like that was a part of it, right? Massive credit to Seth that he was able to- right? Can we talk about Seth being able to, you know, how do you wrestle with somebody who literally doesn't have a bone attached? Yeah, I'll keep you safe proceeds to smash his back with a gando stick. <laughs> So 
just there's just a lot of narratives and stuff going on. You know, in hindsight, we could sit here and be like, oh, that was dumb, that was legendary, blah, blah, blah. I guess we won't really know the full extent until after his surgery and after he heals, right? But given Cody's condition, that was a hell of a match. Also, why is the cell red? Can we switch gears a little bit? Why is the cell red? When did that happen? Why does it look like a fire truck? Because it's hell. Red means hell. I liked it when it wasn't, like, spray painted. Is red to distinguish it from a cage and the chamber? Okay. That makes a little more sense. But I found it was really distracting. Again, as somebody that doesn't watch a whole lot of wrestling, kind of just peeks in to see what's going on, um, I found it really distracting. Like, my eyes were hurting. <laughs> Remember when Taker and Mankind used to wrestle in a regular steel-colored hell in a cell? Yeah! And they did just fine. Jammy Setu came back for more. Four months. Jammy, thank you for the four months. And for choosing to use your Prime subscription on me of all the streamers you could have given that free sub to. You chose to give it to me, and I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Red is more vivid for HD and 4K. Cage is gray. Chamber is black. Uh, does it need to be that frickin' red, though? <laughs> like, surely they could fade it a little bit and make it look, I don't know, dark red, rusted, that kind of hellish, like red and black, like burning embers in hell or something, so it's not blinding when you stare at the corner? You can't have blood anymore, so go red as you go. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. The evolution of the cage is a mystery. Cat treat? Okay. Nick is right here. Hence the spray tans on everyone at Raw. I don't think Foley falling through the cage would have been enhanced if it was red. I don't either. Like, I don't care. The, the cage could have been, like, lime green when that happened, and it still would have been epic as shit. <laughs> Mick, come here. No! Mick! No, Mick! Mick, come here. That's Palmer's. Don't use it. Aw, oh, thanks, Jamie. The women's match to start the event was great. I missed it. I only saw- I didn't even catch Cody's entrance. I legit fell asleep and forgot it was happening. The cage is still gray. Love how Mick just does his own thing. I well, so Palmer like stays in place when I grab the treat bag and Mick runs over, so I have to throw them across the room at Palmer and if I miss, Mick tries to go get it. <laughs> I was there when he fell the second time through the cage against Triple H in 2000. Wow. The whole card was whack. Make a book to jump off the cell for a treat. You're not kidding. Bianca versus Asuka versus Becky Lynch. I remember talking about how I would have loved to see Bianca versus Asuka, and then everyone was like, it's happening. And then I proceeded to not watch the match. <laughs> Someone's gonna need to send it to me. <laughs> like, not me composing a wrestling library in my Discord and then not watching any of it, right? But then again, I like, my Discord is for you guys. The women's was a good match. Okay. I feel like Asuka doesn't put on bad matches. So, as long as the other people don't completely botch, she'll be fine. Still think Sasha Naomi drama is a work? 
Yeah. I found it interesting that people were- I'm only gonna, like, talk about this very briefly and then I'm gonna change the subject because... I have a feeling it's not gonna go in a good direction. But... There were a lot of people applauding MJF. For doing basically the exact same thing. Wow, those are times 12 and he didn't hit any of them? Holy shit. Wasn't there supposed to be a women's tag tournament? It got cancelled. That's what happened to it. Which basically tells you everything you need to know about the entire situation. Maharaja. What's up, by the way? They, yeah, they scrapped the whole thing. So it basically, like, basically cements what Sasha was, like, her entire point. Shows that they don't give a shit, which is the problem she had with it. Yep. Exactly, do you thought? It shows that she was right. Women's tag titles will probably just get dro quietly dropped now without- it. Yep, that's unfortunate. I don't remember who it was on my stream that was saying they should bring in a women's intercontinental championship. I feel like you could do that. And that way you don't have to, like, force teams together just to get them broken up in three months. I feel like you could actually- We don't need any more belts. I feel like they have enough women to do that, though. And, like, how many men's bells are there? I know, she's having this conversation again. But... Like, a, uni a United States champ or an intercontinental champ, they don't defend the ones they have. Bring back the... D Why would they need to bring back the Divas title when they have women's championships? The fact that they're getting women involved in the 24-7 title proves it. Yeah. It would give Dana Brooke and Tamina something else to do. Like, good god. Instead of having fake marriages. Yeah, Jammy. And I'm a big Tamina fan. I've made no... No bones about... Like, I haven't hit that. I've always thought she was underused. Underappreciated. Not respected enough. She debuted with the Usos. And look at their title runs. And look at what she's been doing. She's been... You know... Pretending to marry Akira Tozawa. She got one tag title. Finally, after like 4,000 days with the company, they finally put a belt on her. And then she's been booked as an enforcer. The fact Tamina has never held the women's title is unbelievable. I'm saying. She's obviously got the skill. I mean, if you're worried about promo work, just do what MVP did for Bobby Lashley. Or what Heyman does for Roman. Right? Like, 
it's time. I would love to see, you know, even shit, even Lana tried to, um, tried to be the mouthpiece for Tamina, right? That would have worked. I think it's because of what her dad did. I mean, I don't know if that's a valid argument with Charlotte Flair winning 14 titles. And all the screw Fuck, I don't got any balls. Ric Flair. But also, like, Tamina didn't kill anybody. She doesn't even go by Snooka. She just goes by Tamina. So, like, I get it. I get that thought process. I do. But I don't know how much validity is in it. If they were concerned about her father, she wouldn't be. Yeah. Yeah. I always hated how they used Naya. Yeah, well, the difference was Naya wasn't safe. They missed the window to give Tamina a title run during the deep- Yeah, when she was running with AJ Lee. What up, Tiger King? Five-star silver Shawn Michaels? Damn, son. Nice. Elon Musk buying WWE and bringing back the Blue Steel Age. I don't think they're concerned about her father enough for her not to be in the company, but just giving her to give her the biggest women's title in the company. That's all I'm saying. No, that's a fair. You're allowed to think that. That's. I'm not criticizing you. Don't worry. It's just I. I don't know. With all the allegations, like the only counter I have to that is all of the shit that came out about Ric Flair, and they let Charlotte keep the title. Then they could have at least been able to see how she fared as a face of a division instead of just writing her off with no sh Yeah, or keeping her as an enforcer for people. Tamina's vignette in the asylum should have led to something. Frankly, her age is- Yeah, she's- But then again, Natalia, isn't she facing Rhonda? They're roughly the same age. Also, you gotta remember, what if Tamina doesn't want a title shot? That's fair. That's fair. Maybe she's just perfectly content doing what she's doing. And if that's the case, then all the power to her, right? As a fan of hers, though, it's just hard, right? Like, I just want her to have that so bad because I think she deserves it. Also, what allowed... Oh, that's cool. Also would have allowed to give her some credibility if you're going to use her history to be able to put over talent of today. It's got KO5 silver, Max's moves would be gold tomorrow. Nice! I hear you, Shell. I hear you. I agree with Flair 100% as well, but I think by that time I should- Yeah, that's fair. That's fair, Jordan. Totally fair. I get what you're saying. Natty isn't winning either, she's just filling a slot for a month. True, but they at least put her in that position, right? This match with Natty has to be the setup for Bailey. Isn't she, like, long healthy now? But yes, Tamina needs at least one run. At least, like, put her in the picture. Let her have a match. I kind of feel like Tamina Bianca would be really fun. Bianca is so fucking strong. Natty's facing Gronda because they're friends and Naomi Sasha left. You know how much I love Yeah. No, that's fair. I'm just waiting for Ronda versus Shayna. Oh, in a shoot, Shayna would destroy her. 
Mike was able to get OBS set up for me as she uses for nice. When Flair comes back, do you think she'll show off the wedding ring? I don't know. Natty can also carry a match, so if you're gonna throw Rhonda against anyone that's credible, yeah, Natty is the winningest woman in WWE history. So she a boat. Bailey is healthy, but has to find a window to return where she won't be a babyface. Okay. If booked properly, Natty versus Ronnie should be used to set up Shayna versus Ronnie at SummerSlam. I think now the ultimate turnaround for Tamina would be to align herself back with Us. Yeah. I've been waiting for that too, right? And then because they hold all the gold, that would be where you put her in a title picture. <laughs> would you recommend bringing up Nikki A.S.H. or Icon Charlotte. I know they use different tokens, but they both need blue and red TP, so my struggle is real. Do you have a belt for Charlotte? Natty was taught by Stu. Of course she's great. Right? She's part of the Hart family. Of course she's good. Stay at home veteran. What's up? Uh, Painbringer, if you don't have a belt for Charlotte, I would work up Nikki. Natty and her, and her husband have their own dungeon now. Yeah, the highlights they post on Instagram are really cool. Well, that ended quick. That's what she said. Stinger and Painbringer with the scrolls. Ooh, more spells. More spells. More spells. Yay, they're all level two now. Whoop, whoop. Upgrade that bad boy. Eight kills, warriors. More warriors. Ooh, and upgrade that bad boy. Warriors. Uh, let's go mystery. There we go. Warriors come out to play. Yeah, that's exactly what was in my head. <laughs> um, okay, we're still trucking along with Asuka. That's what she said. Pain. Came up 205 short on Foley. Rip. Yeah, I think the free amount was 1595 and he was a 1600 recruit. That's brutal. Welcome on in, my friend. I'm, um, I'm doing okay now that I'm, you know, pain meds are kicking in. I got some water. I got my heating pad. Stream's been popping. Everyone's been nice and chatty, so it's keeping me engaged, so. 1600 was free depending on your contest superstars. I was missing Hogan and got him free. Who was it? Was Doink the other one? I need an unbiased opinion. Need to work up a striker. Just pulled Mutant Mankind and RBD. Oh, man. Should I get Merrick's on the call? Where's the quit faction button? 
Uh, you go to faction. You click on here. And then there's a button there. Totally a Goldie versus Merrick situation. <laughs> the thing is, Merrick's and I wouldn't argue because we see very similarly when it comes to characters. Yeah, dear you. I got people I want to kick too, so by all means, come join our faction. I'll boot people live on stream. I've done it before. Midnight, what's up? Um, so, as you know, I'm an RVD mark. I really like the fact that he doesn't need MP trainers. The finisher doing damage to himself is nil when it comes to 5-star gold health pools. That doesn't matter. It's a big finisher. Um, if you have Acro Ozka, it's even better. The bleed is nice. Um, Mutant Mankind is... I think I did four different builds in my preview. But he's versatile as shit. Those power gems are strong. He's got a beefy submission. Um, the other thing, and I actually have the plate currency to do this, is I was going to test that plate on RVD. I still have it for um, preview purposes, but I thought it might be interesting to see. Because, you know, I use, the, I use the plate on Mankind. I haven't used it on RVD yet, so it'd be fun to do a side-by-side. But, I mean, in terms of, like, Mankind has more ways to play him. So I'd probably lean Mankind. That said, uh, Vlad, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome on in. That said, Ruthless Aggression era requirement is a good, you know, have one good person in Ruthless Aggression if you don't. Uh, Mutant Mankind is modern era, isn't he? Which is interesting. But mutants apparently transcend eras. Do you think that plate would work on Omos? Um... Does he... Does he break six? With that tricolor build? Does he break six black? I don't remember what the area scales to. Because if he does, it would work. Did you read my theory I sent you in the DM on Discord? I barely opened Discord today. I barely opened Discord. I spent the majority of the day in bed. So. Oh, Moss Breaks 3. Yeah, so the Rock Plate would be the way to go. Silence gems. Boo. You digging the music? Yeah, I am too. I just, I grabbed a different playlist. I just went with their, like, greatest hits playlist. And I've liked, I've liked everything so far. Mankind is a better choice for feud by far. RVD better for showdown. I agree. 
I agree. Hey, John, what's up? Uh, one true king. Also, um, low-key honored that you're spending time with us. Um, Don't ask not that I know anything about feats. Yeah, well, that's, that's where I'm going with this. Um, how many people are you missing? I usually ask this to people with five mil-ish rosters. Like, how many people are you actually missing? I don't ask to shame, like, spend shame or anything. I, I'm just curious. Like, I think our top guy's missing. Fuck, I don't got any balls. Six? Is it really a by far thing in Feud? Well, we haven't seen him in Feud yet. Right? We haven't seen Mankind in Feud yet, so we won't know until we actually- I mean, on paper, we can look at the perks. And speculate. But RVD punches up nicely in Feud as well. His finisher was hitting for two and a half mil. He needs three rotations, unfortunately, with the bad attitude plate. Unless you want to take the bleed move out entirely. I'll have to check. I'm going to say three. It's the over-under for Run True King's missing characters. Over-under seven. I know, Bizzo. Just so casual, right? Saying under seven? I'm going to go over. We also have to... Oh, are we counting the new... Yeah, mid-carter. Are we counting the boss promoters? I feel like they just came out, so shouldn't be considered. I'm 160 shards from RBD. If we're counting boss promoters, over. Okay, we're not counting boss promoters. Do over under 6.5, so the 7 is included. How many characters are in the game now? Uh, 4... 18? Basically, my theory was they are making it easy to get at least one of this month's chase characters to distract us from the trivia situation. Um, there's always... It seems as though... How many times is this bitch gonna dodge? It, it seems like there's always one weekend character that's a low shard recruit and they make it fairly accessible. Yeah, what dear you just said. Like, Hall of Fame Snoop was a 1200 shard recruit and he's really fucking good. Hall of Fame Brett was a 1200 shard recruit. I know that's a sore spot, but yep. See, dear you and I, same wavelength. Same wavelength. Got her! What sort of requirements does KSMA have to stay in the faction? Do your 1%. Flash feuds, it's not about score per individual flash feud, it's more the faction event itself. But obviously, like, don't score zero in each of the flash feuds, because that'd be brutal. In terms of minimum roster, I mean, we've had people with sub-1 mil rosters hit their 1%. So, I don't think we have- do we have a minimum roster requirement? Is it like a mil and a half or something? I don't know, some people have come in and completely blown that out of the water. Yeah. Yeah, I figured that would, like, score your 1%, you could bring a 400k.
low-key wish they had the Mighty Molly gear for a superhero showdown. 25 including promoters, Perfect, and Seth. All right, so it was over 6.5. <laughs> I'm assuming Chase Seth Bizzo, the one that literally just came out. That would be my guess. One, the day I teamed with Two Bob, I was super worried. I remember um, feuding with Ocho for like two hours once, and I wanted to cry because I felt so I felt so much pressure, and I was so nervous to be slow. I have a roster in my faction just over one mil top 10 in feuds. Yeah, it's it has nothing to do with the roster you have. It has everything to do with if you use it smart, right? How many more of these do I need? 11. Okay. Well, my faction banner is broken. Uh, Lord of Dorkness, are you in my Discord? Feel free to hop in, and then I have the, um, I have a WWE Champions chat, uh, channel. If you want to post screenshots of what's going on in there, and we can help you out. That's basically all of Haven, except for three people when they feud with me. <laughs> Level up the right people and you do fine. Yeah. I got two bob went fast. Next match evolution worst hour of my life. <laughs> it was definitely eye opening to go feud in a top five faction for a month. Tidoros Macho! How you doing? Remember Shadow Demon saying that about Haven when I was in Woken? Obviously I wouldn't know. It's not the size of the pen, it's how you write your name. Shout out to Pen15 Envy. The best faction. Lived for one day. My handwriting sucks ass. I mean, you work in a kitchen, so I'm not surprised. <laughs> how so? How was it eye-opening? Uh, because I didn't- I'm not somebody that really enjoyed feuding. Like, ever. I'm sure Bizzo and Maharaja can attest to when feuds first came out. I was like, fuck this. I hate it, I'm slow, my roster sucks, and I'm bored. And that was my mentality for a while. I just didn't enjoy it. I don't know why. Um, but it got to a point where I felt like I was a decent feuder in KSMA. And then I went to TNM for a month. And I felt completely overmatched. And yet, I held my own. If that makes any sense, like... I had complaints about jumping someone in under five minutes, so I set an unrealistic standard. Sometimes people don't even get- yeah, facts, right? If they know. Let's be honest, outside of hanging with Goldie, the real reason to join KSMA is for the eventful Mondays. Facts. Maharaja Monday is awesome. Especially when it's a two-parter. And we have two pay-per-views a year. We have the Taj Mahal Tumble and KS Mania. And um, you are speaking to the most recent Taj Mahal Tumble winner and the main eventer of Wrestle KS Mania. Dumpster and everything. Hey Nate, what's up? Eventful Mondays, do I want to know? 
Um, some people, when they're really terrible and they join our faction and three weeks later they're still terrible, they get a nice little poem written about them and then they get a boot to the ass. And the poem gets sent to everybody so we can enjoy. Where do I get my playlist from? Um, so this is an app uh, made by Twitch. It's called Soundtrack. The everyday trolling works too, yeah. Long ass day, but I was able to walk all day. Awesome! Glad to hear it. Can I get in just for the poem? <laughs> The issue with feuds was not having the roster to handle the turn one wipeouts. Once you find out how to hang and not get frustrated, feuds become more enjoyable. I used to not look forward to- Yeah, right? I used to get the- Oh my god, Team Hella Hard. I think you got like, at least three. <laughs> Katie, what's up? How you doing, baby? Welcome on in. They nerfed the flash market again, and they made the tours even harder to beat for the beginning player if I didn't already have a strong roster. Yeah, it's... This month, they have upped the difficulty, so newer players are... Struggle bus for them. This month. It would be nice if they... If they maybe made the limited tours league dependent. Like, if you're league 16 and up, you get the 5-star gold opponent. If you're League 13 to 15, you get a 5 Silver. If you're League 7 to 12, you get a 5 Bronze. Or something like that. So players can, like, newer players can still feel like they're accomplishing something. And then, like, keep the, the scaled back rewards. But it would give them something to play for instead of constantly seeing a 5-star gold boss and being like, I have no hope in hell. Oh my god, dude, fought nice. I can hear the whining now about League dependent ones when League 19 still under leveled. Their well, that's their fault if they don't want to work on their women. That's not a game issue, that's a damn issue. That would be too nice for them. Finally got League 16, so next month I can finally get the 3 gold chase instead of farming and cringing over the 5 bronze. Nice. Getting a poem isn't a good thing because a boot comes with it. Yeah, but when you get the call up, when you come back better than ever, you know why I'm here. Prepare for 500k MLCs at week 16. Hope you're up for the challenge. Yeah. Facts. Or get the call up and poop the bed. Yeah. Couldn't happen in our faction. Oh my god, Crimsy. Oh my god. <laughs> Bizzo. <laughs> I mean, when a guy hasn't logged in for 12 days, it's a different story, but... <laughs> What's up, Grimsy? How you doing? Yeah, the pay-per-views are incredible. I wish I knew how to use, like, an animator so I could actually put those pay-per-views to video.
Oh, it's been in a top faction. Wife hates it, but it's the one thing I do for fun of me and phone games are easier to play with. Yeah, I bet. You don't have to worry about them running and tripping over the cable and unplugging your controller and stuff, right? I remember I used to be tight when someone jumped around like, yeah, I get that too because you're in a groove and then you go to like, you go to finish up and someone's there and you're like, you motherfucker. But then it's like, no, no, greater good, greater good. I'll survive. One brawl. <laughs> it's the people that jump and then take 20 minutes. It's like, you asshole. Do I have this? I haven't tried to catch Pokemon all day. I don't mind if you jump, just don't suck. Facts! I wanted to jump my well, wife's line when she was facing Goldie, but I got to- That was so funny, because both of you DM'd me. And were like, hey! What's up? My girlfriend calls herself a feud widow. Oh my god. <laughs> like, alright, honey, see you in three days. <laughs> Not only about the court. Yeah, it's obviously a lot easier. You still have kids hanging off your leg, right? They DM'd me too. <laughs> Nine left. This dude's name is Fildo. Oh my god. This bitch dodged me. Time for me to lyric got a baseball game to watch. Right on! Enjoy the game, Nate. Thanks for swinging on by, as always. During a feud, I was on a faction voice chat and I told my youngest that I would give him anything he wanted if he left me alone. I didn't live that down for months. <laughs> she still doesn't. Frame rates slowing down? Um, doesn't show that I'm dropping frames. Maybe a, a Twitch refresh is in order. I'll take a look after stream do fuck. I'm gonna start DMing feet pictures and see how good my feud partners get. Oh my god. Two fifty of two seventy. I feel like by the time he's leveled up, there'll be a faction boss. I'm excited for the next faction boss now that mine's maxed out. Hi, Mick. Hi. Oh, are you just gonna... Okay. Can't wait, you and I double KO stomping. Yeah. God, I miss boss battle.
Nick, what are you doing? The 65 day grind of league points are stupid. Yeah. I know my game slows down when I certain characters I play. Oh, that's weird. I just want boss battle to run smoothly. Same. I wish that when they give us the disconnect or the Wi-Fi symbol in the middle, they'd stop the fucking timer. It's like, if you're going to lock all four of us out, surely to God, you could pause the game. Need some direction on the best way to get a strap for Charlotte. What? Stip tour shop is where you get those, right? Hey Cuddles, what's up? Are you saying boo or boo-urns? I was saying boo-urns. I was saying balloons. I love this community, man. <laughs>
need more commands. I have so many. Also, I can totally oh, tell have you not heard? that I It was I my am. understanding that everyone had heard. That's it! Starting Back to Winnipeg! No, I don't have any balls! Is Marquee the only place to get the 200% medals? Uh, yes. The only consistent way. Yeah, like sometimes the faction boss store will have the tier 5 metal cases. Sometimes they're in events. In the marquee shop, you'll at least consistently get a tier 5 metal, but it could be flat, it could be multi it could be rainbow, it could be anything, but it'll be at least tier 5. Faction boss this week. Are there scouting missions? I didn't look. That would be how you know. No, just has to. Oh, probably a female feud. Yeah, what Tanjay just said. Female feuds is everyone's fave. I love female feuds. Take names, right? Am I done with Nikki yet? Not yet. Okay. Female boss battle might get people to work on their females. I would kill for one. Since I got stuff, Hall of Fame China and Alundra, I love female feuds now, right? So happy I got 200 more tech Oscar shards today. I really need them. I think I need a gold more. I built up defensive feed perks this time. One of my running wilds has 16% purple jet. Damn. I regret not getting those instead of getting NWO Hogan, which I got on a literally single pull the week after. Rip. Hindsight's a bitch, man. At the time, it was the it was the right play, right? At the time, it was the right play. Technically, I should have waited till the end of the month. I know better. What did you learn? <laughs> what did you learn? Uh.
wild. Fuck, I don't got any balls. Swim pod? I really gotta look into that bot that tells you what type they are, because I got no fucking idea. Wimpod coming to Pokemon Go this month, so it's like a Gen 20. Oh, I don't have Gen any 69. balls. What? I missed opportunity. I know. I did Pokemon Go Fest this weekend. Oh, was that this weekend? Cool. Okay, we got a four silver in these streets. Gen 20, that has, that sounds about right. I have no actual clue to Bob laugh. <laughs> Did over 16,000 steps? Good God. Wimpod is Gen 7? Okay. Got it. So does anybody have a raid target? I'm looking and I don't see... I don't really see anybody that I want to hit up. Thanks, Pat. <laughs> also, hello. How are you? So I bought a strap in the stip shop. It is not showing up as a new title. Can I filter? No, there is no strap filter. It is... It's a pain. Chris Hero? He's been on his starting screen for like 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna ask him for a strap filter for a cut. That would be so nice. I liked Pokemon Go back when the S7 was in the state in Minnesota and caught Pokemon all around the world. Nice. My friend was like, we'll catch an Uber to train station after we ate, just started walking forward to the train station, next thing I know we're like 12 blocks from it. <laughs> At that rate, doesn't pay to Uber, right? Alleging Tuna's doing Pokemon Go? Do I even follow him? I was doing raids. When you buy a strap, it's supposed to show up as new. Yeah, there should be like a little red dot that says it's new. He's a counter on page for when the spawn, next spawn is too.
Okay, we can go raid Tuna. See how all this raid stuff works. Oh, he's got like a bot in his chat for- oh, and that's interesting. It's a good setup. We'll hit up Tina then. No, it's okay, Doofpot. I asked. This match is gonna take me 20 minutes, anyways. So let's um, let's do the stream writers. And then we'll raid Tuna because I need to go lay down. I'm starting to feel like absolute crap again. So. I need to find some food and then crawl back in the bed. So. Does the Legend Tuna have a beard? <laughs> what is it with me and raiding people with beards? I don't know. If I wanted to wait five minutes, I could raid the two frothy beards, but I raid them all the time. It would be nice to hit up somebody new. And, uh, yeah, I just want to crawl into bed. Tomorrow is appointment and errands day, so I won't be streaming. So I will see everybody back here on Twitch on Wednesday. <laughs> Bye, bitches! <laughs> I was hoping the Raiders battle will be over by the time we're uh, raiding out, but it's not! So I'll see you all on Wednesday. Bye!